Hey everyone, welcome to Yoga in the South Arc Library. We are going to start in child's pose. So you can take your knees wide, big toes touch. Bring your forehead down to the mat or a block if you have one, or you can stack your fists and rest your forehead down on your fists. And just take a moment here. Feel your breath as you inhale, expand into the back body. And as you exhale, empty out. Couple more breaths like that. Just let your hips sink and settle. And then with your next inhale, you can come to the all fours and bring your knees about hip socket distance apart, wrists under your shoulders. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. So press the mat away, tuck the chin and the tail. And inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, tilt the tailbone up. Exhale, round like a Halloween cat through the spine. Press the mat away. A couple more rounds, just moving with your own breath. Good, and then start to find neutral through the spine. Walk your hands a little forward of your shoulders. Spread your fingers wide. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back to down dog. And then in down dog, feel free to be still or pedal out the feet. Bending one knee, straightening the other leg. And start to be still, bend your knees, really reach your sitting bones up towards the ceiling. And then start to straighten your legs any amount, keeping that long spine. And then gaze forward between the hands and slowly step your feet to your hands. To a forward fold. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. If you'd like, you can take hold of opposite elbows and hang. You can sway a little bit side to side. And nod the head, yes. Shake the head, no. And then release your arms, bend your knees, roll yourself slowly on up to stand. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. And then just bring your hands to heart center, feet about six inches or so apart. Lift and spread your toes and then place them back down on the mat. Feel all four corners of the feet grounded evenly. And then interlace your fingers, press the palms forward. Feel that stretch of the shoulder blades. And then inhale, lift the palms up towards the ceiling. Press through the feet, go up and over towards the left side bending. 
and then back to center, press up and over towards the right. And back to center, release your arms. We'll step the feet out wide and just make sure your toes are lined up and your feet are parallel. And then interlace your fingers behind you, roll your shoulders open, lift your chest. And as you exhale, fold in between the legs. So keep the weight even in the feet. And then with your next inhale, press through your feet, come back up. And then we'll just switch the interlace of your fingers, interlace the awkward wave, roll your shoulders open, exhale, fold in between the legs. Take one more breath. And then inhale, press through your feet, come back up to stand. And then we'll bring the feet about hips distance. Transfer the weight into your right foot. Bring the left sole of your foot anywhere above or below your knee. If you need to go next to a wall, you can make your way to a wall. Bring your hands to heart center. Press your sacrum forward and the knee back. Press the foot into the leg and the leg back into the foot. Press through your standing leg. And then if you'd like, you can grow your branches, reach your arms up. Reach up through arrow straight arms. Nice, and then carefully release. Set the left foot down. Transfer the weight into your left foot. Bring the right foot anywhere above or below the knee. You can take your time to find a wall if you need to stand with your left leg near a wall. Both hands or one hand to heart center. If you're at the wall, you can keep your left hand there. And then if you would like, you can start to reach your arms up. Press the foot into the leg, leg into the foot sacrum forward knee back so you're opening up that hip nice and then release your arms set your foot down we'll come to the top of your mat inhale reach your arms out around and up exhale forward fold Inhale, fingers to shins, halfway lift to a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step one foot back and then the other to down dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank, shifting shoulders over wrists, knees can be up or down. Exhale, shift forward, lower either Halfway down through Chaturanga or all the way down to the belly. Inhale. You're on the tops of the feet. In Cobra or Up Dog, lift the chest. Exhale, Child's Pose. Take the hips back towards the heels. Bring the forehead down either to stack fists or the mat. And then you can inhale, start to bring yourself up, bring your feet around in front of you, and just come to lay down on your back. And you can hug the knees into the chest. Rock a little bit side to side. And 
and then bring the soles of the feet to the mat about hips distance apart. Take your arms by your sides with the palms down. Press into your feet, lift your hips. You can either stay there or take hold of the edges of the mat and work your shoulder blades under you. If you want, you can interlace your fingers underneath you, press your forearms down. And then release and start to roll down from your upper back to your middle back to your low back. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees go wide. And take an easy breath in and out. And then you can bring the hands to the outsides of the thighs and guide the knees back together and into the chest. And then you can either just roll off to one side or rock and roll yourself up to a seat. We'll extend the legs forward and sit up nice and tall in staff pose. And then hug your right knee in towards your chest and then let it open up to the side. Bring the right sole of the foot inside your left thigh. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Reach your arms up. Exhale, fold any amount over the leg. Just let your hands fall where they may. Keep reaching the chest forward as you inhale. And as you exhale, maybe fold in a little deeper. One more inhale, reach the chest forward. As you exhale, fold in a little deeper. And then inhale, come back up. We'll inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, twist left. So take your right hand to the outside of your left leg or right hand to the outside of your left leg and your left fingers behind you. Inhale, reach up through the crown of the head. Exhale, twist. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Reach the arms up. Exhale, release, send your right leg forward. Sit up nice and tall in staff pose. Try to stick your butt out behind you. And then hug your left knee in. Let it open up towards the left. Bring the left sole of the foot somewhere inside the right leg. Keep your right foot flexed and the toes up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold any amount. Let the hands fall where they may. Reach your chest forward with the inhale. And as you exhale, fold in a little deeper if it's available. So one more full cycle of breath. And then inhale, come back up, reach your arms up and exhale, twist towards the right, right fingers behind, left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Inhale, reach up through the crown of the head, exhale, twist a little deeper. Good, and then inhale, back to center, reach the arms up. Exhale, the hands down. We'll send that left leg forward. And then see if you can roll down slow, reaching through the feet, legs heavy, tuck the tail. See if you can articulate your spine down to the mat. And then as you get there, just let the arms flop out to the sides. Take your feet to the edges of the mat. Let the feet flop out to the sides. 
You can either keep a soft gaze or close the eyes. Start to soften the muscles in your face. Let the eyelids soften. Muscles around your cheekbones. Allow your lower jaw to release from your upper jaw. Just let the lips slightly touch. So allow your arms and legs to be heavy, dead weight. And allow the breath to breathe you. Releasing any thoughts no longer serving you. And keeping your attention on the breath. So nothing you need to do right now but relax. Allow your next inhale to be a little deeper. Or feel free to stay longer in Shavasana if you need it. You can start to wiggle fingers and toes if you're ready to slowly come out. Circle your wrists and your ankles in both directions. And then with an inhale, reach your arms by your ears, take a stretch. As you exhale, hug one knee in at a time. And then gently roll off to your right side. You can use your right arm as a pillow. Use the strength of your arms to start to press yourself up to any comfortable seat. Sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands to heart center. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.